Okay, so as we mentioned, we're on the world famous 18th hole of Brabazon at the Belfry. We're joined by a good friend and PJ Professional here, Chris Ryan. Make sure you check his YouTube channel out. Loads of great golf instructions going to help your game this year. Click the link, he'll take you straight to it. Right, 18th Pierce, we're going to play this hole. What a hole. Talking course management. Yeah. Talk us through it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Chris to actually hit a shot. I'm going to hit the second shot, hopefully from the fairway. Hopefully from the fairway. And then fairway. Andy's going to knock the putt in. It's as simple as that. Hopefully. But what we are going to do is talk about the strategy that we're going to employ and actually what you can learn from this as well. So, <laughs> further ado, Mr. Ryan, what right. are you going to do? Well, the hole is 441 yards. Yep. And you'll notice I've got a three wood. Yep. So the first thing we tend to see is that golfers often will pull the driver out just because it's a long hole, just because it's a par four or it's yeah. a par five, and that isn't always the best strategy for yeah. them. So Piers, how far have we got to the bunker? So we've got 250 yards to the middle of that bunker there. Okay, so for me, I want to hit this on a right to left ball flight. Now for me, taking the three wood means that if I hit that perfect shot, yeah. I'm going to be in a great position, hopefully, that you can take advantage. If I leak it a bit right so I hit a bit of a push, yeah. I'm not going to reach that bunker. So what this means is if I take driver on this hole, I've got to hit the perfect shot. Now, I might do that, you but might. I might not. So yeah. really, on this hole, it's 440 yards. I'm not trying to make a birdie. I'm trying to make a solid par and maybe give myself a chance at a putt for a birdie. So by taking three wood, it's a slightly easier club to hit, yeah. but it means I don't have to hit the perfect shot. And also, I find with a three wood, slightly shorter in length, it's easier for me to shape this ball a little bit right to left. So I'm seeing this at the left-hand side of that bunker with a little bit of draw, but my margin for error has been increased by choosing this club. And if you take that corner on, you're actually going to make this do the hole shorter as well anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's so, what I'm hoping. Hopefully you're going to hit that little bit of a draw. And knock a, you can probably knock about 30, 40 yards exactly. off a dog leg as extreme as this because it is quite a right. Absolutely. It's nearly a right angle, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So because it's such a severe dog leg, the better line I take, it leaves me a shorter iron in rather than just the longest yeah. shot I can hit. So for me, three was the best option here. Okay, Fine. so it's, it's in, you, you play the shot there, Chris, but it's interesting that, you know, you would be thinking, well, Chris is a professional golfer. He's going to be able to play that draw. But, you know, you've got to think about what is your natural shot shape as well. And if you have a natural shot shape, which is a draw or a fade, and it suits the hole, then definitely give it a go. Absolutely. All right, so high draw. Target line at the corner of the bunker, that's, Chris. That's the goal. I want 150 yards left, please. OK, let's see what I can do for you. Nice. That's at the corner, just yeah, working its way good. back. Yeah, it's not bad there. Good. Be the so right side of the fairway. Wasn't that quite be. the perfect one, but but that's hopefully okay. a good example because that wasn't the perfect shot. If I'd have taken driver, I'd be really in the trouble there. Yeah, so okay. by the using the three wood, hopefully we're okay. Perfect. Well, let's go and play, knock we? that shot on the green, shall we? Okay, so pretty happy with that shot, Chris. There. Uh, exactly perfect. Exactly what I planned for. So good. An example of just choosing the right club off the tee. If you drive it, it would have been through the the fairway into the rough, possibly in danger. But he's missed the bunker there, just to the slight, just to the left of it there. But now faced with a pretty straightforward shot to the green, which hopefully Pierce is going to demonstrate. Yeah, and no problem. This one beautifully. Right, okay. Now, the thing with the 18th green here at the Brabazon, it is huge, okay? So it's 148 yards to the front of the green, and it's 176 yards to the middle of the green from here. So that's a big difference. So you need to make sure you get the clubbing right. That's the first thing we will say. Then we need to look at the actual position of the flag. Now, that is, it's obviously on the front tier, and it's actually on the left-hand side of it as well as the green. Now, the bunker on the left, so if we think, well, if I were to hit the ball into the bunker, I've got a short side shot, not a lot of room to work with, and it's downwind as well because the wind is going from left to right here. So the last thing I want to be really doing is having a bunker shot. Well, sorry, the last thing you want is a bunker shot, which is coming downwind with not a lot of green to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a club which is a little bit softer than I would do normally. So normally it's probably be a 9-9 from the yardage that I've got, 156 yards to the flag. But I'm going to go with an 8 iron, hit it a little bit softer so that the wind doesn't make it drift off to the right so much. So I'm going to be going sort of at the flag or slightly right of the flag with that eight iron. Okay, so you're okay. sort of just taking into account where you don't want to be. So just yeah. the right of the flag is a good choice. Yeah, okay, so we'll go through the pre-shot routine. We would do that normally from behind the golf ball, but then from, from there I want to imagine the shot that I'm about to play, come into it. I'm going to go pretty much at the flag, I think, now, because the wind's a little bit stronger and hit it a little softer. That flag blowing around with that. Come on then, Pierce. Let's As we said. I've done the hard work. You've done the hard work. You've done the hard work. This doesn't look that easy. All right, here we go. Well, that looks good. Oh, look at that one. It. Great looking shot. It's at it. The wind's pushing really it a little good. to the right. Oh, a little oh, bit big. It's going to come, come back. Is it coming down the slope? Well, oh, I'm left with a tricky putt. You've got a nice down. putt there, Andy. Uh, <laughs> by the time we get there, that might be on the right level. It makes, it, makes the, it makes the video more interesting. Let's get up there and see, shall we? Oh, Andy, that was... 
how close was that? If that ball pitches there instead yard, of there, it'd be a tap in by the hole, isn't it? All right, so, okay, what have you got left, Andy? Right, okay, well, not that much actually up here. So, I mean, it looks, <laughs> I've got 30 feet left, but I actually haven't got to worry too much about the pace because it's such a severe slope. I've just got to get the golf ball in motion and the slope's going to really do all the work. So, all I'm going to really look at here is just getting my line right and getting it starting over that spot. Okay, let's see you do it then. Okay, so, so we we'll leave the flag in because the flag uh, in just so you me. can see it on camera, but. Uh, I have got my putter, but <laughs> I'm confident he's going to hold it. I just bought this just in case. Okay. So, it's a little bit of right to left at the start, then a little bit of left to right towards the end. So again, you're going to see here, I'm just going to do a, a short practice stroke just to get the ball in motion. So what is your line, Andy? A um, couple of inches to the right. Okay. So quick down there, isn't it? Come on, man. Come back, man. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. I'll give you that. There's no, there's no need, do you need this? There's you no need to tap that one. Perfect. It makes that easier for me. Okay guys, look, a very different style video there. We wanted to show you how we would play this hole. Hopefully you can get some parts of it. Big thank you to Chris from Chris Ryan Golf. Thank you. Make sure you go and check out his channel and subscribe to it. Lots of great instructional stuff. We'll be doing some more stuff with him later in the year as well. Very good friend of ours, so go and help him out. And Andy, I think we should do some more videos I like this. I think we should do I the 10th. That. that 10th would be. Oh, that'd be good. Ooh, that'd very be good. Yeah, different ways to play that. Nice. Thanks guys.